Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel, Mo Moon Tarot. My name is Mo, welcome to your May 2021 tarot reading. I'm doing a tarot spread today called the Soul Compass. It's a four card spread. First card represents, uh, this is for the month of May 2021. So the first card represents where am I on my soul journey at the moment. The second card represents the most important lesson on this journey. This third card represents how am I being asked to be of service at this time. The fourth card represents the anchor card that is serving as a wise teacher for me on this journey. So I've already cleansed and blessed my cards and shuffled them, but let's shuffle them a little bit more as we ask the questions for Aquarius for the month of May for the Soul Compass Tarot spread. So question number one, where are you on your soul's journey at the moment? Nine of Wands. Second question, the most important lesson on this journey. Queen of Wands in reverse. Third question, how am I being asked to be of service at this time? King of Pentacles in reverse. Fourth question, the anchor card that is serving as a wise teacher for me on this journey. Ooh, the devil, card number 15 of the Major Arcana. Okay, very interesting. Hmm, a lot of fire energy here. Um, we have the Nine of Wands. Where are you on your soul's journey at the moment? The Nine of Wands. So your soul has been bruised and battered, okay, Aquarius? Your soul has gone through a lot of difficult changes, a lot of difficult lessons, and you have come out of that difficult situation and lesson victorious, okay? You have survived the lesson of your soul. You have survived a journey of the soul that most people wouldn't be able to survive. And most people wouldn't be able to look back and say, okay, I really learned a lot and I'm grateful for the situations that I've been through. I'm seeing a lot of gratitude for you, Aquarius, in the month of May with the nine of wands for your soul's journey and where you are right now, because I'm seeing that you're grateful for even the hard times that you've been through and you're feeling like you're a survivor, but not just that you're a survivor, but that you're an overcomer and a victor. The most important lesson for you on this journey is the Queen of Wands in reverse. So I do feel like the most important lesson for you, Aquarius, in the month of May is to remember that you create your destiny. You create where you are. You create your reality. You create how people see you. You create your own uh your own surroundings by the way that you react. I do feel like this uh, Queen of Wands card is really playing into Leo energy, so fire energy, and also masculine energy. I do feel like with this Queen of Wands, she is also a very sexual queen. She's also very sexy. She's also very attractive to people. And I do feel like in the month of May Aquarius, you're really tapping into that personal power, that attraction energy. People are being drawn to you. And I do feel like this card is saying, don't become too conceited about it. Um, and really hang on to your level head because that's why the Queen of Wands is, is in reverse. It's not about becoming conceited. It's about giving gratitude and remembering that your soul's journey could change at any moment and that you've been through a lot and that it's time to take, uh, take happiness from what you've been through and to embrace your sexuality, to embrace your confidence, to embrace that part of yourself that nurtures your creativity. Okay, Aquarius? How are you being asked to be of service at this time? We have the King of Pentacles in reverse. So I do feel like this card in reverse is saying, don't be cocky. I'm really getting a sense of not being cocky and just being um, humble with uh, where you're at and how people are seeing you. Because I do feel like in the month of May, Aquarius, people are seeing you in a really attractive light. And the King of Pentacles in reverse is saying, don't become too cocky. And you're being asked to be of service by... Um, just being physically uh, yourself, okay? Being there for people that need you to be there. Um, being, uh, being a support system for people that need you to support them, whether that be in your job, whether that be in your social surrounding. Um, the King of Pentacles is a very dependable person. He's very much part of like the earth, the suit of earth. So he's very grounded. He's very wholesome. He's very masculine, very, uh, it could be somebody in your life that you're being asked to love and to be of service to. It could be a Taurus, a Virgo or um, Capricorn that you're being asked to pay attention to in your life. Could be somebody that's very important to you. That's an earth sign. And you're being asked to really be a support system to them. 
you're being asked to be of service by being the support system to the people that are closest to you by keeping a level head and by not being becoming conceited um, with the queen of wands in reverse not becoming conceited with the king of wands in reverse staying humble um, the anchor card that is serving as your wise teacher for you on this journey is card number 15 of the major arcana the devil so the anchor card is really attached to the lover's card because 10 and um it's card number 15, one and five equals six and six is the lover's card in the major arcana. And it's really about loving yourself. That is the anchor card that is serving you. It's, a, it's the devil card, which speaks about loving yourself and not giving into addictions or bad habits that you have that bring you down. It's really about getting rid of bad habits, bad uh, thoughts, processes, and really embracing your 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 uh, individuality, embracing your uniqueness, embracing your truth, and uh, living th living out your truth, and not living out anybody else's truth, but just your truth, and being truthful and honest with yourself, and being uh, wholesome and uh, healthy, and just um, really paying attention to to being the best version of yourself by being healthy, by staying active, by eating right, by thinking thoughts that are progressive and supportive and and cutting out the things in your life that bring you down because you've been through enough with the nine of wands as far as far as your soul's journey is concerned um you've been through a lot and now you have the queen of wands and the king of pentacles so there's like a there's embracing your sexuality embracing your attractiveness and also embracing your your body, uh, no matter what size you are, embracing your body, embracing your truth with the devil card, um, no matter what anyone else thinks, just embracing what you feel is your truth, um, despite the fact that other people might not agree with you. It's not about letting those people bring you down. It's just about living your truth and, and hanging on to your passions. So let's get an oracle card for you, Aquarius, okay? It's in French. Le pardon est un des, sec un des secrets d'une vie pleinement heureuse, car je n'ai plus le pouvoir de me détruire et de détruire les autres en conservant cette mauvaise habitude d'air. So, forgiveness is one of the secrets of having a full and happy life. Because you no longer have the desire to destroy yourself or others through carrying hate. So I do feel like that's about progression. It's about evolution. It's about letting go of anything that could be hateful, that people uh, are allowed to have their own truths and you're allowed to have your own truth as well. Forgiving yourself and having a happy life and not having any desire to live any falsities or anything that's not true to you. So I do feel like this uh, reading for you from May Aquarius is saying, embrace your truth and allow yourself to live the best life that you can and the best life that you feel is good for you. So I hope this was a helpful reading for you Aquarius for the month of May, 2021. If it was, leave this video a thumbs up or comment down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.